What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Got a few exciting things to go over before the gameplay today. Going to be streaming tonight on twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim. Check it out, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Going to be streaming the shop tournament here at Full Grip Games. If you haven't caught a live stream yet, tune in. Really excited about that. I have affiliate status, so subs have been enabled. Got my very own emote as well. Stoked on that. Secondly, going to be doing my Patreon giveaway here I have another signed Misty's determination from Rachel Lillis voice actress for Misty and uh, Jesse and many other characters such as Jigglypuff in the Pokemon anime so excited about that gonna be giving this away to one of my lucky patreon subs shout out to all my patreon subs you rock also my birthday art contest which I hosted over the course of the last couple months has finally come to a close I am really excited to announce the winner the video is going to be coming out tomorrow so make sure to check that out as well for the results but on to the giveaway let's give away this rachel lillis signed misty's determination awesome stuff i only have a couple of these left i did get a few of them authenticated by psa so i'm stoked on that as well and going to be releasing some psa videos on Darium's, uh, comboing up with Darium's for some video action in the near future as well. If you guys are excited to see the results of my PSA stuff that I just sent away. All right, winner of the Rachel Lillis sign Misty's Full Art Determination is Daryl McNabb. All right, Patreon sub Daryl McNabb, you are the winner of the signed Rachel Lillis Misty's Determination Full Art. Thank you so much for all of my awesome Patreon subs and all your guys' support. You guys rock. You guys keep this channel afloat and are incredible. So, gonna be moving right on to our PTCGO game here on expanded format. This is the list from the Anaheim Regional Championships. I was able to top 128 with uh, there. It was awesome. I love the deck. Uh, end of the day, 5-2-2. Two, and two, Lost a kind of crushing match in my final win and in, in scenario. I was in a win and in at 5-1-2 and two, and didn't quite get there against the Zora Garbodor deck. Very close though and honestly loved the performance of the deck all around. It worked very well for me. I think that the list is solid uh, and definitely has potential. Just there's a lot of crazy stuff to account for in expanded format. It's not really uh, possible to account for everything. So I think this deck is pretty good and it definitely does what it's supposed to do pretty well. I've included the Giratina with Distortion Door in my list as well. Uh, that in tandem with Dual Pump does allow me to get in there and snipe for 60 damage on Pokemon, which was super relevant, just that extra 10 damage, uh, especially when combined with that dual pump attack on Shining Volcanion. So it looks like I'm playing a mirror match here. I played four mirror matches at the Anaheim Regional Championship, so pretty comfortable with the mirror here. Gonna start off with an order pad, and I just wanna see how this order pad buffs out first. Before we go forward, we got there, so super easy stuff. We can just battle compressor away some things, and then we have it, so let's just do that. Now we're gonna battle compressor, battle compressor away, and Archie's probably a couple of eggs as well, and then we should be good to go. Let's see, we got the Blastoise, probably the couple eggs, and the Archie's is all I really need for now. So let's just get that going. And then I can Ultra Ball away the water and the Blastoise. Hmm, we we'll probably want to attach that water. Can Ultra Ball away the Blastoise and an egg. And we'll go get ourselves a backup Pokemon here. I am facing down an Articuno. I think I'd rather not have my Caldeo in the active position. So let's see if we can't maybe get a different Pokemon like Shining Volcano. And he's like solid in the mirror to start with because it's just low, uh, low risk. You really don't mind having him in the active position at all. So we'll attach that water energy. Trainer's Mail, see if we got ourselves another Battle Compressor. Oh yeah, let's get it. So we will play that again and then just discard our other Blast Toys, get that Giratina in the discard pile as well, and then probably ship like a Water Energy so we can start to accelerate those into play quickly. Good stuff. Uh, I think 
I'm going to reserve, oh, actually, no. I like the muscle band on the Shining Volcanion so that I can two-shot this thing. If I get it into the active position, then we'll verse Seeker for the Archies. Get that Blastoise out. Bring them out. Here we go. And I will say this deck plays much quicker on PTCGO than it does in real life. Uh, the amount of shuffling and deck search and all of that that you end up doing in an actual game online or in real life just takes an absurd amount of time. Uh, and the amount of time it takes for your opponent to like think through their Archie's turns, there's just a lot that goes into it. I'm not gonna play my hand anymore. I don't really think that I have to. I'm gonna wait and just respond to whatever my opponent does. So the mirror is just so time consuming that you just sit here and you really just wait. You just wait, see what your opponent does, see if they've got the Archies, you know, with an order pad heads, you have to imagine they're probably going to get it. So now we just sit here and let our opponent solitaire for at least probably a few minutes while we try to, you know, try to think about like what we're going to be doing next. But really at this point, you have no idea where your board, where your opponent's board position is going to end up. They could end up grinding, getting a couple shamans and then blowing up this Caldeo. If they blow up this Caldeo in the active, that is not gonna be good for me. But I feel like we probably go in if they do with like a Caldeo we might just high roll with our own Shining Volcanion and go for a Quad Smash. Now that's kind of like a high risk, high reward scenario for me, but if my Caldeo does get blown up by an opposing Caldeo turn one, that might just be my only realistic route out of that game. And we do see a Caldeo come down onto the bench real early here. It's got the water, it's got the muscle band. My opponent does smell blood. They can kind of sense that this might be where they end up going, they only have two bench spots, so they can't set up twice. That's usually what's required to pull off a gigantic turn one. They don't have any waters in the discard pile yet. They'd have to at least hit uh, a battle compressor, a superior, and a few waters probably just naturally off the draw in order to do a big one hit KO like that turn one. But I don't think that they have it. I think they're probably going to just be content with a chilling sigh, if I had to guess. But if they do draw into two waters, they might hit me for 130. So see what they got off of that setup. I am only playing nine water energy in this Blastoise list, which is lower than most. I feel like a lot are at 10, but I've really been enjoying the fourth order pad. I know that was like a, a card that was in and out of our lists here. Uh, leading up to the Anaheim Regional Championships. The fourth order pad's been really good. Uh, even though order pad does lose you some games because it's tails, you miss all the shots you don't take. So you almost have to play it just to give it a shot. Because as we saw with our opening hand, we didn't have it, played the order pad, just had it, just like that. You end up trainer's mail using trainer's mail for order pad all the time as well. And those two cards kind of in tandem just keep you turning through your deck turn after turn. So here we go. Yeah, we're just gonna start off with that order pad again and see what we got. I can go and get myself, let's see here. I think I want a battle compressor to throw some more energy into the discard pile then I can kind of start grinding from there and maybe hit like a superior energy retrieval and just just go from there. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So let's grab that. And I got the Ultra Ball already. I got the Trainer's Mail. I want to thin my deck a little bit more, but we want to get those waters into the discard pile for surely. Yeah, we're going to do that. Let's see, did I prize my Guzma or did I already get that down? Oh, it's in my hand. Very good. All right, Andrew. Good job. We got four waters down, and we've got three battle compressors down, two eggs, Guzma in my hand. I, If I hit a superior here, we're just gonna grab the Shaman first because I know I'm setting up this turn. So let's just do that. If I knock out their Shaman with like a non-GX, like Shining Volcanion, that would be very good for me. Uh, I could also go in and like dual pump, maybe hit the Shaman and a Caldeo and then potentially dual pump again later. So I do like that too. Let's grab the, I think I'm going for the shame and like we're just gonna go for it this turn. Um, 
think that probably makes the most sense. And then I could maybe, if I soften something up, I can Articuno it later, which could be good too. Like if I double hit a Caldeo, I could Articuno the Caldeo for knockout and take two pri or three prizes on that, which could be like pretty insane. I think we just grab the Ultra Ball with the intention of potentially like using it twice. So using it twice, grabbing another Shaman, so on and so forth. So let's just go in. I think I'm going to Guzma. Like I'm just going to commit to the Shaman this turn with my Shining Volcanion, and we can kind of decide where to go from there. Let's set up four, five, five big ones, and see how we do. All right, so we've got a Fisherman. I've got a Versus Seeker and only one Water Energy. So we're going to need like a little more gas here in order to get ourselves out of this turn. Definitely need a Superior. So let's just do this. I'm going to Ultra Ball away. I think the Fisherman and the Lele and grab myself a second Shaman. This isn't exactly where I want to be, but we're out here now. So like there's no turning back. Let's just Deluge, I think. Um, I mean, I guess we could just do it with the Caldeo. That doesn't feel great uh, if I put that water energy onto the Caldeo. I feel like I need a superior to attack anyway, so I think I, if I just get one more water, I think I'm safe going there just because if I get only one more water off of this setup, then I'm good, and if I get the superior, I could just attack with the Shining Volcano. So we'll set up and see what we get. Ooh, yes, yeah, see. So good call there <laughs> going on to the Caldeo. That was a pretty suboptimal draws off of the Shaman, but we do have enough to knock out our opponent Shaman. So that's good. I take the lead with that. I don't want my opponent to take two pri or three prizes on my Caldeo, though, with their own Articuno. So that is not good. We got to hope that they kind of just don't have that play. I don't think that there's like another way for me to avoid it. I definitely didn't want to go in with this Caldeo this turn, but it's kind of all I have. So let's just Secret Sword this thing and hope that they don't have like Retrieval in their hand to go and pivot for a three prize turn. That could be devastating. If they do that, I kind of have to look at, oh, they promote the Articuno. They know that this is just where they're going. Uh, I think that they're probably pretty confident in their ability to try edge my Caldeo. At this point, I have to just hope they flip three tails. It's a possibility, but not really where we want to be. Guys, will notice I saved my last bench spot as well. I kind of just want to think about where am I going to pivot from here. I don't want to commit to anybody yet. Uh, I guess I do have both my Lele's down and both my Shaman's down, so wouldn't have been that risky to just slap another Pokemon down there on the bench. I probably should have just slapped the Wishy Washy down, knowing that I was going to utilize him eventually. But, you know, hey, we out here now. So we got ourselves a Versus Seeker. We've got ourselves Fisherman in the discard pile as well. So we're going to be able to get that energy back. Uh, I don't think I have, let's see, do I have N or Juniper in the discard pile? I do not. So this is it. They are about to take three prizes on my Caldeo. They're going to go to three. I'm at four. If I knock out the Articuno, then I also go to three. So I think, hmm, where do I want to be at? I think I want to like just hit the tails, tails, tails. No, oh, they got double heads. All right, so that's a three prize turn. I think I want to be at like I hit this Articuno twice with two Shining Volcanians for knockout and then take three prizes on this guy for game. I like think that's probably where I want to be, but it doesn't feel very good. So let's see where we're at. All right, we got Comp Search. That's very good. And Superior. That's also very good. I feel like Comp Search is kind of better. And then I can Comp Search for an N. That is going to help me out a lot. But then off of the end, I need to find a superior or enough energy to attack. Like, I definitely need a superior here. Let's see. I can actually just win by going in and just knocking out, like, three GXs. So I might want to just ignore the Articuno altogether. I'm already ahead. I have the Guzma in the discard pile. So I probably should have just taken a 
I should have just taken a superior there off of the trainer's mail, but that's fine. I had to kind of think about my turn a little bit longer, and the timer is just like my worst enemy here on PTCGO, so that's all good. I could just put a ton of pressure on my opponent this turn by computer searching away, you know, these eggs, getting myself a superior, that's fine. It's a little bit of a backwards way to do all this. I should have just grabbed the superior, but it's cool. It is a cool. Here we go. So we'll get both these guys. Then I can easily just bring out that Caldeo with the three energy and just sack that thing with my wishy-washy and then throw all the energy from the wishy-washy back onto a Caldeo. Just puts so much pressure on my opponent to have to respond immediately to a benched Pokemon. So that is a lot. We got the wishy-washy. Here we go, we got the water energies. Let's just deluge them all, click by click, Blastoise. Let's get them done. Wish that it didn't like end the deluge every time, so you have to click deluge every time, but it's all good. Muy bien, gracias. Here we go. Esker. Sweet. But anyways, yes, hopefully you guys do check me out on Twitch tonight, twitch.tv slash trickygym. Uh, the shop tournament, like I said, here at Full Grip Games, really stoked about that. It's been going really well, and I am working towards my Twitch partner status. It will be happening soon, so really, really stoked on that. Let's see. I think I just throw them onto the Caldeo. Yes, that feels good, so we will just use our final card in hand to go grab that Guzma. Let's go ahead and bring up a Caldeo GX and take care of them. Yeah with our wishy-washy. Blue Surge GX, let's throw those five energy back onto the Caldeo. And I like this route. I think it's going to just make it so that my opponent can't just lean on that Articuno all game. They need to deal with the wishy-washy. And by dealing with the wishy-washy, they probably have to promote a GX Pokemon. And by promoting a GX Pokemon, uh, they are also just saying that I could win the game. Like, if they don't disrupt my hand right now and promote a GX Pokemon, I could just Fisherman for my final three energy in deck and just knock it out. I doubt that's what they want to do. They probably want to knock out my Caldeo. So they would have to get six energy on their own Caldeo in order to do that. If they do knock out my Caldeo, I could just go in for game with Shining Volcanion. It's not really where I want to be, but it might be where I have to be. And we could just high roll it if I flip three heads on quad smash. And I can't tell you how many times I had to, qu <laughs> I had to quad smash at Anaheim. It was quite a bit. Just rolling in there, just saying, hey, all right, we're gonna need to knock out a Garbodor and Shiny Volcanion's all we got. Need two heads here to make the dream work. And it just buffs out, you know? Sometimes it doesn't, but whatever you miss on Quad Smash, you can kind of just clean up with Dual Pump later in the game. So I do like that interaction as well. Uh, averaging 100 damage for four energy, it's not great, but kind of giving yourself that option with Muscle Band to hit 170 is very good. Sometimes that's like just what the game comes down to. And you take it when that's the only shot you have. You gotta shoot your shot. That's just it. So let's see what my opponent's got. Can they do it? With comp search, thinking that they might be able to. Computer searching away a fisherman there. Uh, so they do have plenty of energy available to them. Definitely plenty of energy. Let's see how many energy they have in the discard pile. They got three. They're gonna retreat, then probably propagate superior and then if they have another water in hand uh, they can guzma and attach final water or a muscle band in hand and knock out my caldeo so that's not great but i don't have juniper i don't have n in my discard pile so it's looking like potentially fisherman onto the shining volcanian might be the play. If I don't top deck anything else, I'm feeling like that just might be what we have to do. I don't have my other Caldeo. I don't have Superior. I don't have access to, I have plenty of energy in my deck. If I could just hit my Juniper here, I would have, I would just have game. I would be able to get my final, ooh, my Caldeos and both my, actually maybe not. All my attackers are down right now. That Caldeo's down. This is my second Caldeo. If that Caldeo goes down as well, I'm out both of my 
Lele's. Okay, so the way this game has... Oh, but they benched the Shaman. They needed the extra energy, and they benched Shaman. Uh, that gives me an out to win the game with Wishy Washy, but I need to top deck a superior. Uh, also, I could end the game with Shining Volcanion much easier. I just need to top deck a superior energy retrieval. I have three in deck, so I have a lot of opportunities to get one. Just a tough call. Do I say, like, am I going to top deck a superior here? If I top deck a superior, the correct play is to promote, like, somebody else. If I don't top deck a superior, then, oh, this is, uh, this is tough. All right, we need to end the game. I think I need to promote the Shining Volcanion and just hope that I hit three heads. I don't really think that there's a better way to do this. I don't really have a lot of great attacks. <laughs> attackers left in my deck. The Wishiwashi takes five energy, so I can't possibly get Guzma with Wishiwashi. The Articuno can get there with three heads. So if I top deck superior, I could attack into it. Oh my gosh, we're just so close. I think I have to I think I have to ship the Volcano in here. Alrighty, we got Floatstone. Oh my gosh. So who <sighs> yep, alright, let's do it. We got Fisherman. Let's get the Fisherman and then just see if we get it. I can't play the Archies because I don't have enough stuff in my, uh, <laughs> I don't have enough bench space, so let's just get it. Shining Volcanion, take us there, Shining Volcanion. Get us to the promised land of victory. You just need three heads, not that many. You can do it. I believe in you, sir. I believe in you, Shining Volcanion. Oh my gosh. So here we go. Perfect expanded gameplay here. About to high roll for games, see if we can get there. If not, my opponent will surely punish me. Surely. I know. They're like, you ain't about to do it. And I'm like, yeah, I am, brother. Yes, I am. Give us that quad smash. Three heads. Let's go. Not good. That's a fail. No. Oh, we needed that to be the other way. You have a good deck. Well played. Oh, no. That is just too sad. Oh, sad, 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 sad. All right, we'll roll one more time here on PTCGO with the Archie's Blastoise deck. Ugh, I lost no mirrors at the uh, at the regional championships, but unfortunately, that one was a tough L for us. Didn't quite work out. Looks like I'm playing against a dark deck here with some other stuff in it. I don't know. So we'll see what my opponent's got in store for me. Could be Zork Galisopod deck, I suppose. This is not looking like it is a turn one Blastoise, but it could be, I guess. Anything can happen with that order pad. I'll start the Shaman and kind of just see. Ah, I really dislike starting the Giratina. That's not what I want to do. So we can at least get the Giratina into the discard pile if we are playing against something that we want to use it against. So start off with that order pad, see if we make it or break it, and it's a make it hand, so that's great. We got the comp search. The comp search is going to be able to get us everything that we need. I think we comp search for an ultra ball here. I could get ultra ball and ultra ball away the water and the juniper. Yeah, actually I, I could do it without comp search. I can do it with ultra ball. I just have to get the lele into play. So we do have lele in deck. I think so long as I Lele for the Archies, we should be good. Or Lele, yep, yeah, for the Archies. We should be good in that regard. So let's just do this. And then we can Lele, get Archies. Yes, yes, yes. And that way I can save the comp search in my deck for later. So we definitely like that. Yes, we're going to search for the Archies. Get them. Bring them out. Then we will Superior for the water back. And let's see, I always like to kind of superior for the water back first, just so that I can then make sure that I don't mess it up with Battle Compressor, just have like a brain fart there. Then we Battle Compressor away our Blastoises and the final egg, and I'm cool with that. And that way we could just Archies for the Blastoise. Got him, turn one, here we go. And Blastoise, bring him out. Big Daddy Blastoise, here he goes. So this is a pretty good hand to start with for us. Uh, I feel like with my opponent starting egg, not sure what they're playing, but we definitely have an opportunity to have ourselves a big turn two here uh, with potentially that distortion door Giratina. Could see it. But let's see where my opponent goes first. I don't actually want to play too much of my 
hand down. I don't want to bench too many things without knowing exactly what my opponent is playing. I imagine it's a Zoroark deck. I think the Bridget, um, the eggs, you know, you like to trade away, um, like to trade away executes with Zoroark. So that's probably what I'm facing here. Oh yeah, dude, let's get them. You guys think we can get them? Think we can get both these Ruas on the first turn? Probably not with that down. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need to hit, we need to like high roll and hit one of our field blowers here. Turn one parallel, definitely kind of stifling. Not exactly what we wanted to see, but it's all good. We could still make it work. It's just gonna be a little bit harder. So that's trainer's mail and the comp search busted, honestly. Okay, that's very good. So now we can really make it work. We can prop, I think I might just comp search away the Caldeo potentially. We need to get another Shaman into play. That or I just get my Juniper. Oh, my Juniper's right there. Okay, so I think we just probably comp search for Juniper and then hope I draw into like energy. How many waters do I have down? Hmm. Okay, so the Articuno can go. Well, the Articuno on the egg would be very good. But we just win if we get this play. Like if we get this play the way that we want to get this play, we just we just win. So let's let's start by propagating. Let's propagate like one egg, okay? Then we're going to comp search away the Articuno. No, we need to get rid of like probably a Caldeo too. I hate to do this, but like we're just we're just all in. We're all in, guys. We are all in. We got a wishy washy somewhere, somewhere. Somewhere we got a wishy-washy. Well, he's not here right now, but eventually we'll get a wishy-washy. All right, let's get that thing out of here. Then we're going to bench the Shining Volcanion, and then we're going to propagate our other egg and probably deluge the water onto the Shining Volcanion here on my bench. Very good. Muy bien. Gracias. Good to go. Then we comp search away, ultra ball away these things. Then I could Lele, I guess I could just Lele for a supporter, but I think I'd rather set up and give myself more opportunities to draw like better draw cards. So there we go, we'll do that. Hopefully we get everything we need here so that we can dual pump, that'd be insane. Okay, so we're almost there. We just need a battle compressor off this, come on. Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, we still have it actually which is kind of crazy. It's just not the way we wanted it, but that's all good. We could prop these eggs out. I could retreat the Shaman and I have a water in my bench. So we, on um, water on my, yes, Shining Volcanion. So we, we have the whole combo here against those Ruas and my opponent doesn't even know what's about to hit him. So let's just retreat this thing. We've got the superior, get rid of those guys, get them out of here. No bueno, don't need them. All right, good. And we got two waters. We're gonna deluge those onto our shiny volcano and knock out those Zeruas all in one go here with dual pump and distortion door. And then you know what? And then we still got an egg in the active, and that's gonna be very good for us. So that will be a free prize later as well. Shiny volcano really getting in here and doing its thing. Let's distortion door. Bingo! Get them. Go get them. Giratina. Oh yeah. Dual pump. Here we go. Pump them up, and this is uh, this is what the deck is supposed to do. This is why I liked the Shining Volcano taking two prizes here, just bonus prizes all over the place, awesome stuff, and just like totally destroying you know an opponent's board position when they are playing Zork. Very strong start here. It's uh, better than Articuno when you can pull off a play like that because Articuno, though it does get you ahead two prizes, it leaves your opponent's board position largely intact. But here, uh, <laughs> they now have two eggs in play. Why are there two eggs in play? This is like the last place that an egg wants to be is on the bench. Now I can just take two more prizes and then we're just like even better. But my opponent I think has to <laughs> resource management. They might just have a hand with only, oh, what do we got? Do I have Guzma in my discard pile? I don't. So we got an order pad of heads here, come on. <gasps> okay, so this is kind of a problem, though it's not really. I think I just go in and get myself that Juniper, though I don't know <laughs> what it is, it's painful. Okay, I think I just win if I attack, though, so I should be good. We just have to attack. I have five energy in deck. Uh, my Floatstone, is it down? 
I don't think my float stone is down either. All right, so this is bad, but it's fine. We could just win the game if we get everything that we need in order to get that shiny Volcanion back out into the active. So give me a float stone, please. Let's see. Is my float stone in the deck? I don't know. We're going to go see. Give me a float stone. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's battle compressor and see where we're at here. My float stone is in deck. That would have been just a swift dub if we had hit that. But... It's all good. We should be fine. Let's see. We've got a fisherman in our hand. That's fine. That can get some water energies back from the discard pile. So I think we just send the waters to the discard pile at this point and then can fisher them back into play. Cool with it. So that's fine. Yup. And then we're just going to have to pass to my opponent. Not where we want to be. But it's where we ended up. I'm still confident in our ability to win this game fairly easily. My opponent probably has a hand with just some Zoroarks in it. And now it's just sitting there like, hmm, yes, got nothing. <laughs> They're loose meaning for the Guzma pack or for Bridget, right? They got to get Bridget and Guzma. And then they can Bridget next turn. But next turn is going to be too late, fella. It is, oh, well, that's, that's just great, isn't it? Okay, that's fine, because I will gladly just fisherman for my water energies out of the discard pile this turn, and then I want to kind of leave the Oranguru in the active. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I just don't need to waste my Guzma this turn. We, I think, actually, yeah, dual pump the Oranguru and a one egg, not both but one. That way I can hit the Oranguru next turn and take two more, two more prizes, which is just going to be completely nuts. I know they have to bridge it. So then I just take two more prizes. Then I only have to clean up one more prize for game here. So you can see how Shining Volcanion easily an MVP. He very regularly takes like four prizes all by himself. He really is quite the man out here. Oh, they've got Toad. Not good, but I do have a handful of energy. So <laughs> actually uh, can't really do anything here. We can go and high roll on that Toad, but I don't think that that's actually the maneuver. I feel much more comfortable just uh, yeah using Guzma up on that Oranguru. Yeah. And then we are going to probably, so you've got a handful of energy. We just take our two prizes here and be good with it. That toad's not gonna do anything. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. I just keep my, yeah, keep all this energy in my hand. We're just gonna take out both these guys. That's cool. And then the toad is kind of just a sit and duck. Like they can quaking punch me, I suppose. But at this point I've got five water energies in my hand. They can't like quaking punch and Guzma and N, I guess, unless they have counter catcher in their hand. They could quaking punch counter catcher and N all in the same turn, like that would be very bad for me. But I still think, I still think that they won't be able to keep like any sort of lock up with a hand, you know, with the four position like this. Alrighty, so I think we just start high rolling with quad smash. Let's go four heads on quad smash. Come on. No, 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 bad. <laughs> I needed one. Oh, Volcanion, you're not doing what you're supposed to do with the quad smash. You're really supposed to get in there and take care of business, but it's all good. Now we just need two heads with quad smash and we're good to go. Uh, my opponent still does not have it. That's fine. I think I just probably deluge all three onto my active here and then have to retreat. Unfortunately, we did like very uncomfortably kind of jam our bench here. It's not like what we wanted to do, but kind of is what we had to do. We didn't have room for that Keldeo. We had to like, we had to act. We had to put my opponent out of this game right there at the start by knocking out both their Zeruas. And in doing so, we jammed our bench, but it's all good. We lived. Let's retreat back into the Shining Volcano now. I think like, I could be playing my hand. I could be using Battle Compressor, I guess, and thinning my deck. But at this point, I'm not really trying to get, like, uh, my, you know, uh, decked out, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Let's just get those water energies, I think, back into my hand. Uh, that, like, feels better than having them in the discard pile. So let's just do that just in case bad things happen, I suppose. And I get, you know, item locked, and I just need to knock out this Toad. So that's cool. 
then I suppose we can, let's, let's just battle compressor. Let's take a look at our deck. Um, I can probably get the end, that's cool. The muscle band I probably don't need. Like this battle compressor I don't need. That shiny Volcanion I'll keep just in case weird things happen. Then I can give myself, I guess, another supporter card. That's good just in case I get item locked, like I had said. So we want to probably just get ourselves the Fisherman, just in case. That probably feels like the best supporter for me, just so I can continue slugging away here, no matter what. Even if this thing gets knocked out, like we're good. And then let's just quad smash, come on. Come on, Shining Volcanion, take him there. No, <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Come on, how are you still not quite wrapping this game up, my guy? You've gotten so far. You've taken so many prizes. You are the MVP of this match. It is all on your back. You put the whole team on your back today, and you almost got there. But you need to just knock this toad out. That's just what you got to do, all right? It's not going to work out if you can't just poke the toad and get him to just keel over, all right? So we're almost there. But uno mas. No, there's two toads. This is deck's got a lot of toads in it, dude. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. This might just be like a toad lock deck for all I know. And I didn't know that, but it looks like it could be a toad lock deck. I think at this point, I just retreat and sky return. I think that's just where I'm at. And I have just such a big hand that I just will then just fisherman for game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven will do it. So I think that's just where we're at. Yeah, let's just let's just do it. All right, I'm sick of this business here. Uh, the Volcanion, you know what? He probably isn't going to get there this turn. That's fine. We're going to just start deluging onto the Shaman, and then we'll put the, the real guy. I will put Caldeo into play, and Caldeo can finish the game up for us. My opponent is drawing so bad that uh, <laughs> I don't think it actually matters. Let's see. We are going to Sky Return. I think I actually do Fisherman right now and put those three energy back into my hand. That's probably fine. And then that way I can Fisherman again if I need to. One, two, three. That's good. So let's just get those guys back up. Alrighty then. And then we can just Sky Return. I think I probably don't actually need a supporter card, but we'll get a Guzma just in case. I think that that could be good just to like finish the game if my opponent actually benches anything. So let's just Sky Return here. And then we can promote literally anything, probably just Shaman. And then I will just rush in, whatever. My opponent needs an N, I guess. Uh, and an N and a DCE in order to kind of really throw me for a loop here. And then if I don't know if their deck plays any sort of like hand lock business, if they've got like all that nonsense, hiker, trick shovels, that, that would not be good. I don't think that's <laughs> what they play. I don't think they play that, but maybe they do. I got Ace Arola and Guzma. All right, finally, we're going to put this Toad out of his business here. I don't think that there's anything they can do to stop this Caldeo from coming in here. So we've got him right where we want him. You almost did it, Shining Volcanion. You really just needed an extra, little extra push there, but it's cool. We got your buddy here, Caldeo, tagged in. He's going to do the job, you know, get it done right. It's all good. So this is it. This is my Shining Volcanium Blastoise deck. I'm glad you guys got to see the dual pump on Zerua's in action here. That was pretty rad. Uh, expanded format, gonna be taking a little bit of a break from it from here on uh, probably for a while because I'm not actually attending any expanded events in the near future. But again, do check out twitch.tv slash tricky gym tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Gonna be streaming the tournament here at Full Grip Games. Stoked about that. Stoked about my Patreon sub winner, Daryl McNabb for the Rachel Lillis signed Misty's Determination there. Awesome stuff. And then also art contest winner getting announced tomorrow here on Tricky Gym on YouTube. So stay tuned for that also. Gonna show off my list here real quick before I peace out just so you guys can see 
my take on Archie's Blastoise in expanded format. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, check out the Etsy store and Patreon stuff in the description below, as well as fullgroupgames.com. Thank you all for watching. Peace.